How's it going guys? Today we're going to be learning about the mouse move event in JavaScript to create this cool cursor animation. You can see here to your right. Before we go into the code, let's just take a look at the definition and the usage. So the mouse move event occurs whenever the mouse pointer moves within the selected element, which in this case is the whole page. And the mouse method triggers the mouse event or attaches a function to run, which we're going to be doing by attaching a function in our example when a mouse event occurs. Also note here, each time a user moves the mouse one pixel, a mouse event occurs. So essentially saying here to use this event carefully, and we'll actually see this in action in just a moment. So let's head into the code now and create this cool animation. Here we've got our blank page here, so we don't, currently don't have the animation in motion. To our left we've got um, Visual Studio Code open, so just a simple folder and um, with three files, so the index.html, style.css, app.js, and I've just linked all these files together. So the first thing we're going to do is just go into the style sheet and then create a class for our circles. So we'll just say dot circle. And we'll give the width of these, say 20 pixels. Uh, we'll also give the height of these to be 20 pixels. And we'll give them a border of one pixel solid. 50% so let's just make it circular as well as allowing us to position this anywhere on the screen So that's literally all we need for the styles. Let's head into the app.js So we're actually going to be able to do this all in one function But the first thing we're going to, need to do is just create an array of numbers um, that we're going to be using The math object on so we can actually randomize between those numbers which will make more sense in just a moment But let's just go ahead and create that variable. So let's just call it colors Let's add like three or four colors so E, B, 3, A, 7, 5. And then let's add F, F, 3, D, F, 5. And then let's say 4, 3, 3, D, F, F. And then let's just add one more. So say 3DD FF. So that's all the colors that we're going to be randomizing between. Now let's create our function. Let's call this animated circles. It's going to be an arrow function. And we actually need to pass the event object in this arrow function. It's really important that we do this. I'll show you guys why in just a second. So the first thing we're going to need to do is just create the circle element. So we'll say let circle equals document dot create element. And we're just going to create a div. So that's our circle. Then we need to give it a few attributes. So obviously we're going to need to give it that class. And we just created, so set attribute give it a class attribute and then give it a class of circle and then let's just append this to the body so dot body append child so now we've created our circle we now need to grab the math object and a few methods from the math object so we can randomize between the colors array so we'll say let color equals colors so the array in the colors then we'll say math.floor and math.random and then we'll times that by the colors array dot length so that's literally just going to randomize between the colors and then to associate those colors to the border of the circle so we'll say circle dot style dot border color equals the color variable we just created. Now what we've done is create the circle, set its attribute to the class that we just created. So all of these styles here, then append it to the body. And then we're grabbing the colors array when we're randomizing between these colors here, and then just setting the border of those to the circle. And then whichever color gets picked is gonna be the border color of the circle element we created. Let's just make this a transition between the different colors. Five seconds, linear, zero seconds. Now before we go ahead and do the last final bits, I just want to show you guys why the event object is essential here. So we'll just say console.log. Let's just console.log the event. 
object and let's just apply an event listener here and then give it the mouse move and then also apply our function of animated circles and then open up the console take a look at the console now clear this out now if we hover over the web page with a mouse you can see all those different mouse events now and log into the console so you can see all the different properties of the event object and we can actually use some of these now to create that animation and as mentioned in the w3 schools note here each time a user moves the mouse one pixel a mouse event occurs see every time i move the mouse even a pixel the mouse event is occurring now if we actually open up one of these the one that we need to focus on and use is client x and client y and this is actually to pinpoint where the mouse is on the screen so after this circles transition here we're going to grab the circle again we're going to grab the style and we're going to grab we're going to grab the left property then we're going to grab the event and we're going to grab that client x add pixels here and then we're just going to do the same for the y-axis but instead of left we're going to grab the top property and because we want these animations to be a bit off the mouse so not directly on the mouse just a bit off of it we're going to use the offset property on these so we'll say circle dot style dot left equals circle dot offset left about 20 pixels and then we'll do the same for the top top and finally all we need to do is just add some style into that circle element and we should be done so so circle dot style dot width set that equal to 50 pixels and then we'll do circle dot style dot height equal to then circle dot style dot border width equals let's say five pixels and then finally let's do the opacity to zero dot style dot opacity equals zero so essentially what these stars would just do is just um, enlarge our circle so it's giving us that ripple effect and then also making way for the new circles so again it just gives it that nice cool animation so so if i hover over this now you can see we're getting that cool animation as well as you know, triggering the mouse event so that's all for this video a really cool concept to learn which is the mouse move event i hope you guys like the video and i'll see you in the next one